Ischemic heart disease is a broad term encompassing a number of conditions caused by myocardial ischemia, which basically means the cardiac blood supply through the coronary vessels is insufficient for the heart demand itself. One type of ischemic heart disease is angina pectoris, which basically means pectoris, chest, angina, pain. So basically chest pain. In angina, the ischemia causes pain, but not myocardial cell death. So when the myocytes run low on blood, therefore oxygen, it causes the release of adenosine, lactate, and bradykinin. These molecules sensitize nerve fibers around the heart, which induces chest pain. There are three variants of angina. Number one, stable stable angina. This is associated with an atherosclerotic plaque in the coronary vessel, which reduces the blood flow past that plaque. So the chest pain in this situation is predictable, which basically means as the heart is working harder, the demand goes up. So on exertion, there's not enough blood that gets past the plaque, therefore bringing on the chest pain. And when the patient is put into rest, the chest pain disappears. So it's a predictable type of pain. Number two is unstable angina. This is also associated with atherosclerotic plaque, but in addition with a thrombus. This then makes the chest pain unpredictable. It usually has a greater severity than the stable angina. The chest pain is less likely to be associated with exertion and it's not necessarily relieved by rest. Finally, number three is Prinz metal or variant angina, and this is associated with a vasospasm in the coronary artery, which is usually located near atherosclerotic plaque, and this spasm will be relieved by nitroglycerine, which takes away the chest pain.